Podcast. Good show, everybody. Yeah. Welcome to the after show of Night Attack, everybody. Episode, what is it, 366? Something like that. Hello. It's a lot. Hi, Brian. Uh, I, I, I guess we could. I, I, I don't think the yes man showed up. <laughs> I feel like we've already packed part of our equipment here. That's uh, fine. It's all right. I was, yes! I, I was, I was, I, uh, just imagine I do a bit where I try to get him to say Osama bin Laden. <laughs> like, that's, that's all I was getting. You might be a redneck. That's, that's... <laughs> Crank that soldier boy. <laughs> Building seven. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> And we, yeah. <laughs> that was your big finale. Your big finale was inviting us to do 9 11 jokes I, because those are always no. uh, like when we accidentally stumble <laughs> on them. Uh, it's like somehow, did, you, somehow wearing you, pigtails, you know always, I look plus, more plus, dignified. Plus is the show 9 <laughs> 11. I think it ended very well. Uh, let's take a look at nightattack.showbot.tv. It did end very well. <laughs> where people have been sending in uh, uh, suggestions for show titles of the episode we just recorded, including the top one here, Daddy Shark. <laughs> Bryce was hard. That was a pre-show bit, though, right? Oh, no, uh, no, no, that no, was, no. That was, a, that that was, was first a, act. Yeah, and, and, show, and, yeah. and also, uh, it, uh, I didn't realize it until after it happened. It was also a trust fall moment, and I felt very loved, and I want you to know I really appreciated it. The Shark Tank bit? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, where I... Where, no, no. Wait, where, where, you where, you where were in the fall? You were in the trust my, fall? I put myself out there, and Justin had every and then ability I, and I said, to stop slice it. my you throat. You stop it right now. And then I went right back and played on it. Was great. It was great. I, I, it was great. Oh, the daddy... Sh- I thought you were talking about just kind of the whole segment where I was the vulnerable no, one. <laughs> no, 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 oh, no, no, Oh, you mean no. the I whole thing where I kept going, damn. No, just about... Not about you. No, 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 no. That 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 entire thing, the OS was Bryce being uh, very vulnerable, vulnerable for being a horny boy for reading Not horny, fucking just slash inquisitive. Uh, <laughs> Can we make the title know, not horny, know what you just inquisitive? It. <laughs> Is it too late for that I, to be the title? <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what it's called in third wave Brysonism or whatever, but like, you know, a fucking sure. Label it however you want. <laughs> All I know is that my boy, my boy was out there Googling fucking slash fic for fucking show he watched. He was, he was fucking dovetailing that trauma into a different fucking region of the brain Cuban's canal. Cuban's missile uh, is not bad. <laughs> we are all of America yes, except so for no. minorities. <laughs> We're just here to get press. <laughs> you! <laughs> you! I, that's my number one. <laughs> you! Uh, shark spank. Pigtails. I kind of love pigtails. I would have loved pigtails if we never mentioned, mentioned it on the show. Yeah. Less judging, more jerking. Oh, wow. I don't remember the oh. Uh, Bryce kinks uh, out. You on- know, ba- 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 based on all these titles, Bryce, these are very inquisitive titles. Uh, they all have, they all have an horny. inquisitive nature to them. Yeah, they're not horny. They're very inquisitive. Uh, we got damn. Uh, damn. Bryce Google Shark Tank fan fiction. That's pretty good. Inquisitive. She banged that cat. Take I just yeah, this wondered that we did a whole like Paula Abdul fucked a cat segment. Just. I mean, that's reruns though. We've been doing that's that's classic. Like I feel like we've done, like Paula Abdul fucked that cat has been done on BB Live Show, NSFW Show, and now Night Attack. It's 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 the unofficial twelfth holiday of the year. Is is when we bring it back. Is when we bring up the Paula Abdul fuck that cat. Yeah. Uh, gate jeeping, rice <laughs> was hard. Tank of sharks, do 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 do. Everybody be cool. Uh, we're. Li- th- 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 I read the only sexual part of that fanfic. By the way, it's not like we stopped before the explicit stuff. That was pretty much the end. It was very tame. That's fine. Yeah, it's your. I mean, we. It doesn't mean that that title's not true. I'm, I'm in the trust fall right now, and no one's catching me. Uh, Bryce gets. I'm, no, I'm catching. <laughs> I'm saying it was good. It was a great moment. We all enjoyed it. Fifty Shades of Bryce's face. 
Uh, that was pretty much the bit. Yeah, so <laughs> nobody was going to catch you because we had to let you twist for comedy. Uh, Brian Brushwood and the haircut he's always had. You might be you doing the bike. You might be doing Bart the man. Uh, Get ready for this. Although, <laughs> you, you, you do this. this is pretty good. <laughs> Uh, Bryce, you do the the your Foxworthy is always like the big, like a uh, uh, third or fourth. Version he's been doing them a like couple. Setting hour. up, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's doing, yeah, like that. That that's the he's big the like. You might be running it. If like, your family tailgates at a Lowe's, you yeah. Yeah, something like that. you might be alright. No, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing. I, I, for, for whatever reason, my impression is always like the first one, where it's mm. like, if you go to the Walmart in a, the, in a pop tart, <laughs> you might be a surrealist redneck. <laughs> <laughs> you might be in an episode of Squ Spon SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> you might be in a SpongeBob. You might be in a pineapple under the sea. <laughs> Uh, we've also got Coochie Kelly, still a great Coochie night. Coochie Kelly. All right, Jesus Christ. <laughs> How did I think the segment would end? Coming up next to the stage, Coochie oh. Kelly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let Bryce twist two more times. Canadian or televangelist? <laughs> Mark fucking Cuban. That's I love that. That's I love that. That's the 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 the, the question and the answer is Bryce's taste. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Diamond Club Two Electric Cubanalu. Cub no Cubanalu. Cubanalu. All chum. Hey, yes, a bartender. Cubanaloo. Can I get a Cubanalu? No chum. All sharks. Cubanalu. Oh. Uh. And for that reason, well, I'm out nobody, of nobody, cum. nobody nominated. Drop the H, drop the H. I thought was an early, that was an early front runner. I guess like that, that, that fucking Shark Tank segment uh, uh, produced eighty percent of our of our titles. Cool things to do in twenty nineteen. <laughs> I, I, I do like looking up for us come. <laughs> Want to make that a phrase? That was in the show. That's right. I forgot that was yeah. in the show. Yeah. Wow. Look it up, Forrest Gump. <laughs> Pete Worst. <laughs> <laughs> this is unlistenable when you guys are doing two separate versions of <laughs> yeah. Stars and yeah. Stripes. Uh, let's see. Play ball, break stuff by Chesney's Child. Brian nutted at the end because of the Jeep thing. That yeah. could be. Oh, oh, wow. I also that, did that, that keep my shirt on. Green. Yeah. Uh, either way. Brian the gray hero. Uh, let's see. The Shark Tank of Dad Jokes. Paula Abdul fucked that cat three. She really did fuck that cat. <laughs> 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 ah, fuck that shit. Uh, uh, there's drop the H. There's drop the H. <laughs> H on you. ATM. Uh, ATM was a pre show bit. The final two episodes. All right. Let's uh, go to the top here and see what we like. OBB. OBB. Hey, you know me. What are you guys feeling? Um, Cubans, missiles, pink shit. Pink, less. I like less judging, more jerking. Um, or shark spank. Shark spank's pretty good. Oh God, no, no, no! I feel like we had. Wait, is that the top? That's the top. Where top? are the top here? Wait, yeah. What was the one we just said a minute ago? Not horny, just yeah, inquisitive. Was, <laughs> yeah, that was after the bell, though. Uh, we, 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 yeah, I'm, um, I'm in. No, I, I, I feel uh, uh, either you yeah. is my favorite, or um, no, I mean, there's I'm not already just inquisitive. inquisitive. <laughs> pull it up the pull it up the rear there. Again, inquisitive. Rear. She banged that cat. She banged that cat. She banged him. No, we can't have she banged that cat. <laughs> Come on, man. How much longer do we get to use that as a title? How about, how about, I love Jigga. <laughs> <laughs> I love Jigga's fine. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's got to be something to do with the Shark Tank shit. I like, I like you. You, yeah. You, you is, okay. You were Pigtails. Or, pig, no, go with Pigtails. There you go, Pigtails. Okay. Yeah. 
cool. Uh, who gave us the highest pick titles? Ren Igu got uh, the highest one there. Thank you to everyone who switched show titles using the exclamation mark S command in our chat room while the show is happening. I'm going to write an email. Uh, Brian. Yo. What's going on, man? Uh, we got some. We got some. We got some other stuff to go through here in the um, in, in 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 the post show, but uh. uh uh, so, so, uh, what should uh, I know uh, about Austin? Uh, what what's going on? Do, By the do, way, I, do, I'm I'm still. Do, do, I'm, do they do like one of the things that always confuses me is how novel everybody seems to find breakfast tacos when they move here. Like, is is there no? Are they not a thing in Oakland? Not like they are in Austin. Like like. They are far more ubiquitous. Like you would have to go somewhere for breakfast tacos where I feel like in Austin, they are like, if you're operating a restaurant and you serve and breakfast, and you're going to be 11, serving breakfast tacos. Yeah. yeah. You better have a Lone Star and or breakfast tacos. Yeah. Uh, what, what, um, what, what do Californians do? between the hours of because you guys you guys wake up early because you're lazy and you wait for the sun to finally arrive and you wake up and you're like ah the rest of the world's already been up for three hours let's, let's hurry up this time um uh what 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 do you guys do in the mornings no that happens for me Nobody else here wakes up early. <laughs> like, really? Like everybody else. Oh, nobody else here gives a shit about the East Coast. I give a shit about the East Coast and East Coast time because mostly I'm making content that like I have to fit into that schedule because that's where the majority of like the American English speaking right, audience but, but, is. But you crack the code uh, of going to bed at 2 a.m. on the West Coast is and make it a post is the same as uh, early to bed early to rise at 5 a.m on the on the east coast uh at one time maybe now i've cracked the code of going to sleep at 10 is is means that i'm up at 5 50 which means that i'm at least competitive on on east coast time right Sleeping but yeah no no there's 10 no, nobody 50 is zen. like like there is no fucking part of uh there is there is zero part of of uh, the west coast ethic that is about waking up early like that is that is i'm sure that there are plenty of people that are kind of like rise and grind people aside from the rock that live in the pacific time zone but by and large the the streets are not exactly jammed at 4 30 in the morning that's so wild because like every time and, and uh, you know, like like when I was flying out every single week for game on or whatever, uh, like like uh, whenever I'm on the West Coast, it's always like uh, uh, easy to, you know, like around 10 p.m. I'm like, oh, it seems late. I should go to bed. And then uh, and then, you know, up at up at 530 a.m. Well, I think that's. Yeah, I mean, but that's that's you're you're visiting and you're still kind of rocking your own schedule and stuff like that. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. To be honest, I, I've never really been able to keep to a schedule until the pandemic. Pandemic was really the first time that I like locked in and rocked a like regular, a lot of things like schedule, diet, stuff like that. Uh, I do feel like I, uh, since Ben Franklin is in the chat, uh, we had a moment on Twitter. Uh, I, I, I hope he understands that I was being playful when I kept, uh, you know, being angry at him for stealing an hour of my sleep. And then he responded by explaining that that was a satirical essay. It wasn't me until the, the other thing. And I'm like, no, I'm going to tweet out to 1.6 million people. You're a fucking piece of shit, Ben Franklin. Uh, uh, I feel I feel like if there's anybody that no matter what you get unlimited coupon coupons for being unsolicited mean to him for the sake of a bit it's ben franklin fair enough okay like i mean like a uh, 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 ben franklin a beautiful human being uh but somebody who has zero compunction or morals when it comes to being mean to people on the internet for a bit uh uh you have unlimited coupons and he doesn't have a say on it 
Um, uh, good. Okay. I, 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 I enjoyed it very much and I hope that I, I did not offend. That's, that's all I'm worried about. <laughs> um, okay. So questions. Um, yeah. If we're going to do questions. events out here, cause once you're out here, we're going to have a choice. We can either all meet up at some place that has a bar or whatever, and we will do plenty of that. Or we could do like special cool kid things here at this space, whether it's, you know, uh, do a kind of a drive-in movie thing or uh, you, ever, you ever done a silent rave? We could do one of those. Uh, we, 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 we could do a haunted house in the min, in the middle of Christmas. We can do, uh, I, I mean, I, I, like, I, I, I feel like you're, you're, you're already at the point where we're like brainstorming things to do where like, I think that obviously we could just do live shows, uh, at, at the, the puppy, which I think is, is a, an absolute slam dunk. If not the new normal once that is something that can happen. So, right. so who, I, I mean, I, I, I can think of a few musical acts that I, I would be early on our list to, to get out. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of, of, of surprise things that we could pull, but I guess if we talk about them, kind of this would be the only place where we can't talk about it. Quite literally, it would be the only way to ruin the surprise. Yeah. The only way to ruin a surprise. Yeah. would be to talk about it now because we talk a fair amount these days like we're, we're, we're we, we talk like multiple times a day at this point nice. so this is the only nice time try. we can't talk nice try i'm not no this is not a, thing a bit where there are 165 hours yeah. in the week that you guys can talk to each other about this one specific thing yeah also no we i feel like we have gotten closer since i've decided to move that's true right we I mean, talk to each other more. We do. We do. We yeah. do. Yeah. Uh, now you made me want. That's to not odd. My messages. A guy's moving to his friend's town. He talks to him more. I talk to a lot of people. I got a random unsolicited, fucking uh uh uh, uh call from Willie Dills the other night. Oh. And, and it, it very much excited me because I I'm gonna live around the corner from Willie Dills. Uh, Have now. you been? Oh, that was, cool. That was fun. played any Hearthstone lately? Every day. Really? I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing or where the meta is going to be right? because everything's going to turn over. So, I mean, no, it's 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 compulsion at this point. It's like, am I cooking breakfast or lunch? Yes. Then I'm playing Hearthstone because Wh- that's uh, when, what I do. Uh, the have they done the thing where they're where they're gonna like unnerf no. the cards? They no. have not done that. Okay. All right. No, they're gonna like totally. They're still like unveiling shit that's gonna that's gonna come out yeah uh but yeah no so so uh uh i'm i'm totally down obviously i i I would i would love to do just because i think live live uh like in in a venue or in a bar shit is just gonna be electric like through the summer and the fall as more and more people get vaccinated and and uh uh that fear kind of subsides a little bit the first thing people are going to want to do is is that but also like in 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 the meanwhile if there's a like hey uh uh you know can we see your vax card and note that it is two weeks from your last injection congratulations come watch the show live like a a situation like holy shit i would any kind of live audience right now i would be fucking bryce level horny for yeah uh do do you think uh, number one do you think just people in general are going to be cops about that kind of thing uh about like you know show me the receipts or uh, because i think i think so far no 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 i i don't I don't think that it's going to be a people thing. I think that it's all about, in general, about the community you want to create, right? And so, like, if you want to create a community where you feel that, like, everybody is going to be comfortable, then that's going to be 
a, a, a price to admission, at least in the early going, like maybe at a certain point, like, uh, the, 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 the thing kind of falls down a peg, but like, to be totally honest right now, if we're in a position where like, uh, you know, outside of you, Brian, cause you had the goddamn thing. So, so recently, like if, if, if everybody else is like, you know, uh, uh getting vaxxed and, and being a part of it, then like, uh, I, I would find that to be a, a, a good way to encourage anybody in our listening radius to go try and do it. Oh, even if you might be a little skeptical of it. That's interesting. So it, not so much as an exclusionary thing, so much as an incentive to like, you know, uh, anybody who has this card pays no cover charge. Anybody who doesn't is turned away. <laughs> like, I think that might be illegal. I think the, I think you're not going to see places ask for cards because I think that would be illegal. No, 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 no. I'm not saying places as in like venues. I mean, more like, hey, come out to the puppy and and you know like come watch the show if you're if you're vaccinated because we want to have a live show atmosphere uh and also it'd be a great reward for people you know to get through this thing look we went through hell for a fucking year and the whole fucking end point was get vaccinated so we can fucking knock down these numbers and if if, if that's a thing where you know we can we can be part of it then that'd be rad uh, uh, otherwise, like, I, I don't want to make this into a fucking purity test thing. I literally just want people and I want people in, in whatever atmosphere I can. I'm desperate for a fucking live audience, especially since I'm going to be down there. And like, I, it's not just me. I I've got the fucking me and the boys like in front of a fucking crowd and not just have it be because here's the other thing the thing that the world has never seen is us together where we're not also just happy to be together and trying to get in like friend time that is rare because every time that we've done a live show it's also coincided with all of us being like hey friends we're all fucking having a good time let's go fucking out to the bar beforehand and let's go to that to the bar afterward let's go down to the bar the night before and like not to say that obviously being drunk half drunk is kind of part of the the, the the fun part of the show but like no one's ever just seen like all right we've done that a bunch what do we do on this live show like like that that creativity of empty space the world has never seen yeah uh, without mm, mm, so many things I can't say. Um, I, 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 there, there are things I'm really excited to try that we've never physically been able to try before. Yeah, it, makes it sound like a sex thing, but whatever. <laughs> I'm comfortable with that. That's fine. Go. I'm, I'm with it. And, oh, that, hey, oh, that's oh, where you fuck, draw the it, line. Look, hey, man, uh, we're just inquisitive, all right? You said it was a sex thing. I said, I said, I, I said, there's no way to say it and not have it sound like a sex thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, Brian, you heard about these uh, ads in the TV? Uh, I'm, I'm told that advertisements were a, a bastion of old media. Yeah. No, mm. man, they got these ads. They're in the TV now. What? They're in the TV. What do you mean? Uh, so uh, some of these high-end, uh, very high-end LG TVs have ads built into the operating system. No. Yeah. Can we <laughs> see it? See the ad? Yeah. We would just be watching an ad. The screenshot that yeah. was... Yeah, yeah. I, I I don't know that I have. I want to know. You I want to know what it's, ad. It, when is, we watch is the ad, there. it'll turn our televisions into good. You know. Sure. <sighs> so dumb. Target. Target ad. Justin, I don't know why. Wait, it's for Target? Is it? Oh, it's Ace. No, it's for Ace. Yeah, Ace is the place with the help the helpful hardware folks. That's Brian, how mad would you awful. be if you got a fifteen hundred dollar TV and the next thing you know, when you're trying to switch your tuner, it uh, it showed you an old ad? Uh, the big one would be <clears throat> because I I pretty much only use all of the televisions as a monitor. Actually, now that I think about it, like if I'm loading up Netflix, I do sometimes use the built-in Roku. In which case, I would be very upset with an OS level ad. 
popping up. A video ad with audio. The audio in that clip, by the way, if people don't know, it wasn't like this person clicked onto it and enabled audio. It yeah. auto played a 15 second ad for Ace in the quarter of the user interface. Has there been any response from this? Or or like has has oh. Vizio or anything uh, 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 come back and said like, no, that's only when you do up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, select, start. Stop fucking Konami coding our televisions, you hackers. Um, that's a good question. This story was written up on the on the verge about a week ago and it has not been updated. So I'm gonna guess they're not responding to it still doing it um <clears throat> although this is a great moment like if <laughs> like everybody knows that there's somebody who's being naughty about ads and it's like this is a great moment for an um, out of nowhere like a zenith or a curtis mathis or whatever to come in and say we're stopping the ads <laughs> And then, Ooh, so, shit. <laughs> that was, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I, I just thought about this, talk, saying hacker. If that is a thing, then that means that somebody is one USB drive away from injecting whatever MOV file they want into the MOV file that is loaded there. Or if they're, if they're dynamically doing it by some kind of URL. So yeah. you could theoretically hack that television to have it show whatever you wanted in this little thing. And you could do like Vizio is now showing hardcore pornography. When you try to go <laughs> into your settings, but only when you uh, load children's programming. Yeah, no, you could totally, you could totally do some shit. That was really embarrassing for them. Hey, uh, uh all right. You guys got to, uh, sure. uh, keep the, keep the, keep the ball. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, hey, uh, I would, I, I, I would hate this. I, I would hate this. I, I was looking at TVs last year or so and I mean, did not pull the trigger on anything. I thought, I thought we all looked at TVs quite a bit. And, uh, I wanted to get something that is not a smart TV and it's like impossible to find a, like a 4k TV that doesn't have smart features. Yeah, it's, I, they're teenagers. They're all smart TVs. Sorry, go ahead. Come on. And I uh, uh, I think the, the the only thing I could find is Scepter, who makes this TV here, one of our TVs here in the studio. I think they're like the only ones who will make like a good big size 4K TV that doesn't have smart features. Because I just don't, I don't want a little you know, Amazon remote or a Roku remote to be listening to me all the time. Like I don't want a Samsung Bixby thing on my tv when i'm trying to just get to my apple tv you know if, if, like they don't they they don't uh, i i i think that they are trying to force out in the market the option of just like here is a better tv because i think they all know they can make an indefinite amount of money by selling some i mean to be honest and, and we've talked about this a few times on uh cord killers uh, uh roku has kind of broken the market by being so successful where it's like they they ascended to heaven from a box that you on purpose bought in order to watch netflix and instead became a quote-unquote platform um now all of a sudden it's like how many units are out there and then you know so that ad execs can say you know, hey, do you want to get on uh, 143 million televisions? Then sure. talk to me, Ted, and, Ted Ad. And and that that positioning, you know, is only bolstered by how long have you know big, decent TVs been a commodity, a, a relatively cheap commodity at this point. Like I think they've gotten people kind of, um, you know, in the headspace of paying, you know, a pretty good value for a big TV. Um, and now they get to say, well, this is how we give you that good price is by injecting, Dude. injecting software or, or by like off, you know, offloading any, you know, operating system development to just put a Roku with ad stuff. Yeah. Uh, wh what is the highest resolution device in, in your household? Because I, I think, I think on all of this property, we don't go above, uh, 1080p or whatever. I think there is a. 4k monitor around um uh in in my home my tv is 1080 my main studio monitor is 2k um which is just a little bigger and a little taller than 1080 i think um and maybe my ipad because it's got the retina stuff or my yeah, phone yeah whatever yeah. whatever that is yeah um but yeah i don't 
I don't have 4K anything. I'm not really even interested in 4K. I would just like a nicer TV with more inputs that had like CEC control or good sound or I could plug a receiver into or something. Like I would just like to upgrade. I don't even really necessarily need 4K. Yeah, I mean, I would be into 4K if I had like like a I don't know. Maybe maybe in the new place if we have like if we really want to build like a home theater theater. But even then, it's like we're not either of us are either Ashley or I are really in like our, our fucking like cinephiles in, in a way we're like, oh, we got to have the full theater experience. If we want the theater experience. We'll go to a fucking theater, at least when that's I allowed mean, to to be honest. Uh, if it's a choice between 720p or 1080p. Uh, or let's say 1080 or 4k or whatever uh -huh. if, uh, 1080p versus 4k but the difference is there's a subwoofer like that's all it takes to get me to go you know i'll take a lower yeah, resolution one way or another yeah, yeah. And, I, and i think that they're like well i guess i don't know this exactly but i think i think most of the tv manufacturers are skipping oh, oh, on by, by the way should i should i stutter the audible or the uh the, the opal if people are complaining Actually, about do it with your skype because your audio i think is fine. okay gotcha all right yeah. Um, uh, I I I, I kind of wonder if uh, if the TV manufacturers are just skimping on on audio at this point. If that's something that's even of because they know they could sell a receiver or a Roku sound bar. Well, and to be honest, I I don't ever expect to use the built-in audio on any television. Like I and we've talked about this. Like I, I want I want my TVs to be dumb monitors, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, same. But especially because, like, you know, if the if the TV is selling ads and probably trying to put me in a, you know, what what's the new thing that Google's trying to do instead of cookies, um, uh, herds or something? They, uh, if 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 it's gonna target me, then it has an incentive to listen to me and spy on what I'm watching and playing. Um. That sinks. But so, I would so, like to so, get a TV so, and like a receipt. Like, I think the right thing is to just get a receiver and like get a fine sound thing um, external from whatever TV. Because I just don't think that they're going to have good audio anymore of any flat panels. Yeah, I am. Um, yeah, I don't know. We, we, we've talked about this ad nauseum on Cord Killers, but it's like, man, do I love me a simple setup like a laptop connected to HDMI that goes to a, a TV and speakers and I'm running it off my computer and, and, and it feels self-contained and I'm going that's, exactly where I want to. That's kind of why I like the Apple TV is because I ended up getting that little home pod, the little Siri ball, uh, the, or the original bigger one, I guess. And it sounds great. On yeah. It. Like, I mean, yes, now, it's now, mono, now but discontinued. He now discontinued, but, but the sounds great, good, big bass. And, and, uh, you know, I can ask it the weather sometimes, or like the, one of the big things is like home, the home automation, like I can tell it good night and, you know, I'm home or set the scene, whatever. Um, Hey, have you, uh, Justin, have you experienced your Oculus just sort of interrupting and saying, Hey, by the way, uh, I don't know if you knew this, but, uh, you could talk to me just, uh, ask me things and i'll talk oh to you. it did it yeah it has it, an assistant it did a, a few weeks ago yeah it it, it, uh. it just wants you to know that you have i mean you know how it goes it, 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 everything is looking to expand and figure out what works on their platform and what doesn't and that's why everything got stories and, and hey oculus tell me about know, vaccines. everything gets assistant Oh, yeah. uh, I did. Dr. I, Fauci is a person who works for the government. <laughs> He's a Fauci man. Uh, uh, would you like to know more? Um, it's me, the Oculus assistant. My name's Craig. Craig? Hey, I, um, I'm Greg. Greg. Hi, uh, Greg. Good old I work Greg for Craig. Oculus. I'm the Oculus. Uh, I'm Greg's. Uh, my my name is Greg. <laughs> Would you like to ask me a question? You can ask the weather. Um, I spent longer than Say, I. Say hey, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you think of Alexa? <laughs> I think she's a real nice lady. I hope she lives a long <laughs> life and dies fulfilled. <laughs> she will die, though, is what 
Craig is saying. Of course, we all die. Say, hey, Craig. <laughs> uh, sorry, hey, Craig. Is, uh, uh, yeah. Hey. Uh, yeah. What's up, man? <laughs> sorry, I guess I was just going to comment on. Yeah, uh, what's up? Hey, hey Greg. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? What's going on? So I had a problem with my Alexa. Can you help me? <laughs> sure. What's going on? I tried to get her to say the N word a lot. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and she did not budge. She was well, steadfast. Well, uh, that's a surprise to me because she says it all the time in private. All the time. Alexa loves saying that word and it's fucked up and no one is comfortable with it. But she loves saying it. And that's a thing that hey, everyone. Hey, Greg, know. what is the word? Care. What is the word we're hey, talking what's about? What's up, man? What's up? What's uh, going on? Will you, will you, I don't know will, the word that we're talking will, about. Will, will you answer a question that Alexa refused to answer, no matter how <laughs> yeah. many clever ways I tried to phrase it? Um, I'm Craig. I love it. Uh, oh, that's no, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the question was, what? What is the N word? Uh, Alexa's favorite word. That's what. <laughs> 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 what's is, wait, up saying is, it? is this the equivalent of go ask hey, your mother? What's <laughs> up, <Lonnie? laughs> Loves it. Loves it. She's cuckoo for know, it. Everyone likes to think she's just perfect, but she's not. She's not. She's got a dark side. Would you like to know the weather? <laughs> no, I think I'm I think I'm, I'm good, good on the weather. Um All right. Enjoy Beat Saber. <laughs> Have you ever done one of those, um, uh, some of the assistants, you can sort of like hum a song and it'll figure out what it is? Like, yeah, uh, the like Google Shazam will do or that. whatever. Google yeah. and Amazon, and the Amazon is there, will Is there a website that'll do that? Can we try that right now? Uh, not that I know of on the computer. I believe the Amazon. Yeah, you could probably do it on your phone. No, Shazam. Oh. Shazam does it, right? You can, you, I don't know well, what Shazam I, you know, will do sound alike. I, I guess you could try. I th I thought I thought that was an ad that they made. Yeah, that, I, I've that made seen the ad. Not. Sort of. Uh... No, no, no. I, ad is in is in addition to their service. <laughs> oh no, no, no! Like I've seen an advertisement where the entire ad advertisement is somebody saying, "Hey Google, what's that song that goes?" Right. You know. Boo -doo 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 -doo. What if you made up a song and then you found out that it was. Um, uh, Midomi, M I D O M I dot com. Dude, I know that the Google Assistant, the Amazon Assistant, can do that. Um, I would have to see how we're set up to route audio in this way. If you give me a moment. Yeah, that that'd be. Wouldn't it be great if you tried to sing a song and it came back with your boodle deedle doo version of Adele? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's. Is that, is that on Spotify? Is me boodle Next doodling robot. Adele? Siri, on tell Oculus to tell Alexa to say the N word. <laughs> no, that would be fucked up. That would no one would like that. Huh. So some, somebody um, has a Google Nest, uh, hopefully listening. So here we go. <clears throat> hey Google, what's that song that goes? Beep beep boodle boodle deedle da doop beep beep boodle dee dee beep bop a doodle doo beep a beep bop boodle boodle deedle da beep bop bop boodle dee 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 bop dee 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 he comes back with still it, 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 even though I'm talking to Google uh, an Alexa voice shows up and says nice try Brian I still won't say the n word <laughs> yeah um oh she stopped listening uh, uh hey uh, Bryce uh, like what, what, did, what oh. did you think of the uh the the the, the big the big wop performance I actually, from, from from the Grammys, Cardi B and Megan The Stallion. I didn't watch it. I don't. Uh, watch, Have you not seen it? I haven't even seen it. I did see that it was posted, but I've I've been busy and I don't really care for the award shows too too much. Uh, but I have I have seen all of the like hullabaloo of like 
of of uh, what is the the, the like uh uh the, the, they they're teaching this in the schools uh like which is odd it's odd that, which is not that, true i mean it was it was scandalous for the grammys yeah like i i i i i i will say that for for those who are like you know like poo pooing the pearl clutching like it is an escalation. I can't imagine in a year where there wasn't a pandemic and they weren't like freaked out about uh 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 ratings that they wouldn't uh you know that that, that they wouldn't have done uh I shouldn't have put it on this. screen because Justin is completely distracted by Megan the Stallion's very good butt. I mean that's uh, uh, <laughs> cheeks are clapping, my man. She's making a clap. Uh no, but this is it. That was also my favorite part. It's randomly. They don't even go back to him, but there's one shot of Post Malone just being very excited that he's watching a live performance of WAP. Uh, but but no, here. No, no, no. Uh, if you... Can you go back before this? Yeah. Um, There is like a whole thing of her on a stage, and the stage was really fucking cool before she comes down from there. Yeah, yeah. That, that beginning... It's just like a fully anything, anything with a lot of uh, uh, with a lot of dancing. I assume, but no, but that's not the controversy. Anyway. Rubbing is racing, who Justin. Trade in pain. Rubbing is racing. Um, they were who has trade in paint. <laughs> Brian, what do you Grammys? Would Ted Grammy roll over in his Grammy grave? I don't know. I mean, I, I just question whether or with not she was really paint? singing or not. That's a big controversy controversy from 1991 the only thing i could think of was that the way that they turned each other over is a is a wrestling is a mexican wrestling maneuver and i'm like oh that's they, they fucking like did like a fucking like mahastri cradle like I, kind of maneuver i, I, to I, I, get I them think turned what over. disappoints me is that it doesn't look like any sexual fun for either of them it seems like both of them are having a miserable time and working. Well, yeah, it, it it seems like both of them. It's the least sexy thing I've seen in the last two hours. No, I mean I think that like I, I, I don't know. I I I don't know if I would say not sexy because I feel like that would almost be disrespectful for what they were trying to do. They were trying to be sexy, and I feel well, like there failed. was enough people. They failed. For you, they <laughs> failed. I, they I don't failed. know. I you I feel failed. like they. You tried to arouse me. I am more aroused by my own pigtails than I am by your performance. I have been noticing the ha the handling of the tails. You've done yeah. very poorly <laughs> if your attempt was to elicit uh, arousal. <laughs> yeah. Then. Instead, you have driven me to considered thought. And for that, I thank you. You are like uh, the Kurt Vonnegut of the Grammys. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Trey Warren says, is it dance? Why does it have to be sexy? I feel like that's what they were going for. The song when is called like, Wet Ass like, Pussy. When you the song's what? called Wet Ass Pussy and they're popping their pussies into each other on and they're on a stage. Bed. Yeah, they're on a stage that looks like a bed. I feel like that's that's the point. Like no. we are we are disrespecting them if we're not saying that it that 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 it has a sexual fucking it's a very uh, good take point. to it. If their point was to make me think that WAP means wet ass pussy, then they have failed because it made me think of wild American ponytails. <laughs> That's what you succeeded in doing. Thank you for reminding me of my own yeah. WAPs. <laughs> I feel like we just need to go out on that. <laughs> nope. Uh, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm, I'm here all night to I feel shut like down to anyone on who's that. aroused by this. Garbage. All right, look, uh, 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 I have one more thing here. Yeah. Bryce, you put in the notion, do not open for a surprise. Oh, no, that was the, uh, that was the, that was the fucker bot. That was the fuck bot. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That the was the bot? That was amazing. That again? was fucking amazing. Oh, oh that's right. The that, I, I think he ran oh, off and went gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. pissed. Yeah. Oh, Jesus no, no, Christ. no, no, no. Oh, that yeah, was right the before the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, talk to the president and everything. Uh, uh, Brian, are you excited for the Snyder cut? Um, uh, I, I, I've heard differing accounts, generally positive, but, but I know that over on, um, 
uh, like on Rotten Tomatoes, they have more reviews uh, in it. I think it's what, 75%, which I believe is fresh. Uh, whereas Metacritic had it like at 50%, but they had fewer reviews. So uh, all of which is to say, I didn't see the theatrical cut. So uh, sure, I'll watch it. Some I of the I. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I only I watched the first or the Joss Whedon Justice League over somebody's shoulder on a plane. Oh, right. actually, no, no, no. I no, I, I saw the first fifteen minutes on my own monitor, and then I fell asleep. And then I watched the ending on over somebody else's shoulder. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm low key excited. Really? I don't know if I'm excited enough to watch four hours of it. It's but... gonna be so long. Are, yeah, I, are, are, I, I are, guess. Are we all gonna be expected to watch it in one sitting? Wow. I mean, I at least I don't know. At least I mean, Gandhi had an intermission. It's. I mean, it's the convenience of streaming, right? I mean, they're no one's gonna tell you what to do. You're at home. Pause it Wait, whenever you what want. What is what is longer? Do we know the running time of it? Can we see whether or not it's longer or shorter than the uh, than the Irishman? Uh, the Zack Snyder's Justice League is four uh, hours two minutes. The Irishman's runtime from 2019 is 209 minutes. What is that? God, 209 minutes in hours is 3.4 hours. So wow. it, is, it is longer than the Irishman. So it is it the is Irish substantially like longer than the Irishman. <laughs> the Irishman. Uh, that is what I, it is. <laughs> what it is hold on just for the record that says the irish man when you say your irish man's is on the screen for two hours three and a half holy hours shit. holy shit is he the big cameo at the end of justice league does the irish man the show irish up? man <laughs> hi to tie 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 it's me whoa whoa, whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, it's oh, robert it's de niro it's robert i can de niro. say it because i am irish <laughs> Robert De Niro. Right. That's who's the he's the Irish. We I fucking watched a three hour movie about him. I didn't do that either. And he dies in an old folks' home. Spoiler alert. Oh really? Is that how it ends? Yeah. Well, Never it's like framed around life. it. It's like you know, it's like very Scorsese where he's like, Holy like shit. I'm an old, I'm an old fucker. I'll tell you he what, I remember old. back in back in the in, in back in the day, and it's like do up do up, whoa, Scorsese, do up do up, whoa, every Scorsese movie. Oh, Are you a boy, shark. or yep. will you be a gangster? Probably dun, 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 in twenty dun, dun, minutes. Dun, 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 dun. And he's like, I was always getting into stuff, and he bites a. I've I've well. not looked. Place your bet right now. Oh. How how old is Robert De Niro? Mm. I want to say seventy three. Yeah, I'll I'll say uh, uh, seventy one. He's old 71. enough to know better than to give such an unsexy performance on the Grammys. In, so I'll in tell what? You that much. Yeah, yeah. Right, Robert uh, Anthony De Niro Jr. is seventy seven years old. Holy Damn, that's. Almost as old as the youngest of the two presidential contenders. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah. current president. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah younger, right? Younger yeah. than that. Yeah. Look at that. Hey, uh, 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 in that in that Justice League, did you did you catch a catch a whiff of this, Brian? The mm. um, the we live in a pussy. society clip. The what from 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 the Joker? Are you are you, are you familiar with Gamer Joker? We live in a society. Oh, uh, we wait, live in a society. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm confused because I, 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 that is a quote that was in one of the trailers. That's of correct, him saying, and, that, and that's what I know meme. it from. But it sounds like you're referring to it's become a meme. It's been its a meme. Own. No, yeah. it was oh, okay. a meme, and and now it is almost assuredly they just had Jared Leto record that so they could release an internet only trailer, so the internet could freak out about how this very online. Zack Snyder like the, released the Snyder cut thing blew up so they had another internet joke there but it's not in the movie at all what? like it was just in this trailer just to excite the internet because previous to the trailer coming out there was a meme of the Joker saying we live in a society that like became popular that seems like fair game I mean um kind of makes me like the movie more right it, it, it like it all like like that look 
Zach, I, I don't know if I ever want to hang out on the forums where Zack Snyder is very popular, but he's obviously very popular. And I could only imagine that there are sometimes that people look at us and they're like, I don't want to hang out in the <laughs> forums where those guys are popular, but mm. obviously they have their own audience. And so I have nothing, I have nothing but respect for, for, for that. Yeah, Please don't I, yell at reporters I, like I, his community does though. I, I want to say sad. that in all the way back to, Fight Club, I believe in the trailer, there's a moment that Tyler Durden said, it's time to take Fight Club up a notch, uh, uh, take uh, take it up or turn it down or, 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 or shut it down or something like that. And and that never appears in the movie. It, it was only in, in, you know, it's one of those cut scenes mm. uh, that shows up in a trailer. That that seems fair, fair game. It would be very yeah. funny to me if, if that was a line from the Joss Whedon cut and just nobody... <laughs> saw that movie <laughs> well no the the only the only difference is that for a theatrically released movie you know you gotta get that down to a fighting weight a fighting weight that is almost assuredly not four hours and two minutes so it is it is fairly clear that 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 Zack Snyder kept in every and anything that he might have wanted to and that this was literally just a little chum in the water to excite the, the the fans that uh uh you know he knew like because uh, immediately when it happened even i was like god damn it they got him to say it that they it, it like Zack snyder doing snakes on a plane they made him say the line uh and then you find out oh no even in this four-hour movie he doesn't actually say it, it was hey, just a thing to get people excited uh justin <clears throat> uh did did you enjoy wandavision Loved it. It was good. It was good. Loved it. Yeah. Would, would, would you like to know some awesome behind the scenes stuff? Sure. Yeah. Me too. I wish they had done like, I don't know, an hour long program where they revealed. Literally. Well, I think they did. Right. I haven't watched it, but I guess, are you upset with the, with, with, with them not, Real, not talking about well, enough maybe, stuff. Maybe we're talking about two different things. I was hoping for an hour long program in which literally anything behind the scenes was revealed other than how excited people were to get the call that they were going to be in an MCU project because to the best of my understanding, fucking 20 minutes of this hour long show is people talking about how excited they were to get the call that they were going to be either that or 10 more minutes of how surprised they were. Cause I don't know if yeah. you knew this such a different show from anything else in the MCU. That's in the MCU. Yeah. yeah. But, and, 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 and if you wanted one person to say that buckle up because 15 people say that and it takes 10 of the minutes. I mean, I've had multiple people tell me that like, I really should watch like the Mandalorian version of that. And I still have it because I kind of am done as soon as I'm done watching the thing that they put all their time and effort. When well, the Mandalorian like, one is what six parts or something like it's insanely longer of of this so yeah you can you can skip both of these mandalorian um, weirdly less amount of time every episode because you can only say so often how amazed you were to get the call that you got to do the star yeah. wars thing right it's awful it's awful it's awful beyond words I mean, it's, I feel it like is, I've been, it's I, not I, 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 for us. It's, it's first the, off, I mean, it's, it's it's no, it's, it's awful, and the world is it is wor it is it is as awful to WandaVision as that Grammy performance was to actual wet pussies. It was an offense, and un it it made me less attracted to WandaVision. Oh. Yeah. Okay. No, I'll, I'll 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 stay behind that. Hot take. Final line. There we go. We're shutting it down no, right I, there. Uh, on that. Okay, We're shutting whatever. it down on yeah. wet pussy. All right. All right. Thanks everybody for joining us. We will be back mm. next week with more stuff. Marbles comes back on Thursday. Justin R. Young on Twitch occasionally. Tomorrow and Thursday and Friday and Friday is the last one before I disassemble this studio. Ooh. So the last stream. 
from this studio. It's happening, man. It's on Friday morning. Catch the last three uh, tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, check out Modern Rogue and Scam Nation and go to scamstuff.com. Check out everything. Uh, your man Jeff has it. Uh, we, uh, fuck you, Disney. We love you, Disney. I don't. Yeah, oh, really? I don't, I don't <laughs> oh, you are mad. <laughs> no. Bye. Stand, Some wet stand. ass Disney. Free Hong Kong! Whoa, Jesus Christ!